Welcome to our channel. Today we're comparing three popular insulation materials, PIR and two types of mineral wool, rock wool and glass wool. Proper insulation is crucial for energy efficiency, comfort and building longevity. Let's explore which option might be best for your project. PIR is a rigid foam board known for its exceptional thermal performance with a K-value thermal conductivity of 0.022 watts per metre and an R-value of 5.6 to 6.7 per inch. PIR offers superior insulation properties. Its closed cell structure provides excellent moisture resistance, making it ideal for roofs and walls in various climates. However, it's important to note that PIR is not particularly effective for sound insulation. Mineral wool comes in two main types, rock wool and glass wool. Both offer different advantages. Rock wool, made primarily from basalt rock and recycled content, has a K value typically ranging from 0.033 to 0.040 watts per meter, with an R value of 3.0 to 3.3 per inch. It excels in fire resistance and sound absorption. Glass wool, made from recycled glass and sand, has a K value of around 0.030 to 0.044 watts per meter Kelvin. It's known for its cost effectiveness and eco friendliness. Application scenarios. PIR shines in projects where maximum thermal efficiency is key, such as passive houses or buildings in extreme climates. Its low K value means you can achieve high insulation with thinner layers. However, for structures requiring enhanced fire protection and sound insulation, like multifamily residences or commercial buildings, mineral wool, particularly rock wool, is often the preferred choice. Glass wool is often chosen for its cost effectiveness and is suitable for residential applications where budget is a primary concern. Installation considerations. PIR boards are lightweight and easy to cut, but require careful sealing of joints. Rock wool is more flexible and fits well between studs, but can be irritating to skin and lungs during installation. Glass wool is the lightest and most flexible, making it easier to install in tight spaces, but it also requires protective equipment during installation. Environmental impact. Glass wool often contains up to 80% recycled content, making it eco-friendly insulation. Rock wool also incorporates recycled materials, contain up to 40% recycled content, primarily from pre-consumer sources with some post-consumer materials included. The company aims to increase this percentage in the future. PIR, while energy efficient in use, has a higher carbon footprint in production. Composition and manufacturing. It's worth noting that rock wool stone wool products are made up of approximately 97% minerals, including volcanic rock and upcycled materials from their factories and other industries. This composition contributes to its fire resistant properties and durability. Longevity and durability. All three materials can last the lifetime of a building if properly installed and protected. PIR maintains its thermal properties well over time. Rock wool and glass wool's fire and sound insulation properties remain consistent throughout their lifespan but glass wool may be more susceptible to moisture issues over time. Real-world example. Let's look at a case study. The Passive House Certified Goldsmith Street project in Norwich, UK, used PIR insulation to achieve its high energy efficiency standards, resulting in significantly reduced heating costs for residents. On the other hand, many commercial buildings opt for rock wool due to its superior fire resistance and sound insulation properties. Cost considerations. PIR typically has a higher upfront cost, due to its superior thermal performance. However, its energy-saving potential can lead to long-term cost savings, especially in regions with extreme temperatures. Rock wool is moderately priced, offering a balance between performance and cost. Glass wool is often the most budget-friendly option, making it popular for large-scale residential projects and good choice for the general public where cost is the primary concern. Regional differences. It's important to note that building codes and climate considerations can affect your choice. In areas prone to wildfires, for instance, mineral wool's superior fire resistance might be preferred. In coastal areas or areas where moisture ingress is a concern, PIR is preferred due to its closed cell structure and vapour barrier. And also, in very cold or hot climates, PIR's excellent thermal properties could be more beneficial. Conclusion in summary, while PIR offers excellent thermal insulation and moisture resistance, it's not the best choice for soundproofing. If noise reduction is a priority for your project, consider using mineral wool insulation instead. Always consider your specific project requirements, including thermal performance, sound insulation needs, fire resistance, water resistance, moisture resistance, and budget when choosing insulation materials. Let's run a quick comparison. K-value. PIR has 0.022 watts per meter Kelvin, 
while rock wool has 0.033 to 0.040 and glass wool has 0.030 to 0.044 watts per metre Kelvin. R value per inch. PIR has 5.6 to 6.7 per inch, while rock wool has 3.0 to 3.3 and glass wool has 2.2 to 2.7 per inch. Fire resistance. PIR has Euroclass E, while both rock wool and glass wool have Euroclass A1. PIR isn't as fire resistant and was a contributing factor to the Grenfell fire. Sound insulation. PIR has poor sound insulation, rock wool has excellent sound insulation, and glass wool has very good sound insulation. Moisture resistance. PIR has excellent moisture resistance and is good for areas where moisture ingress or driving rain may be a concern. PIR doubles up as a moisture barrier as long as there are no gaps in the joints and they are properly sealed with foil tape. Rock wool has good moisture resistance and glass wool has poor moisture resistance. Reflective heat. PIR's foil covering reflects radiant heat, which mineral wool does not. Breathability. Rock wool is breathable, fiberglass is semi-breathable, but PIR is not breathable. Initial cost. PIR has a higher initial cost, rock wool has a moderate cost, and glass wool has a lower cost. Environmental impact. PIR has a higher environmental impact, and it cannot be recycled. Rock wool has a lower impact, and glass wool has the lowest environmental impact. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more construction and insulation tips. Check the description for timestamps and additional resources. Share your experiences with these insulation types in the comments below. Disclaimer. While we strive to provide accurate and up-to-date information, this video is for general educational purposes only. Always consult with local professionals and adhere to building codes when choosing and installing insulation.